What's good everybody, it's your boy S Live 128 and today we're gonna do a video about holding a grudge and what that does to you and, and how you should not. But before we get into the video, I uh, hope everybody had a great day. Um, hope tomorrow is a better day and uh, let's get into this shit. So listen, when you hold a grudge, it's not it's not good for your mental health up here. You know, a lot of people, the way they look at the way you look at your physical health, you should look at your mental health. You know, let's say someone did you wrong in the past and you still have a grudge against them. You're still mad at them for that shit. Listen, they probably don't even care no more. Maybe they, maybe they don't. Let's say they have a smile at you when they see you and you think it's offensive. Maybe they're just like, okay, whatever, it's in the past. You know, I, I, I dropped it. I don't care. A lot of people struggle with that nowadays. They think that, you know, the past holds their future and it doesn't. You understand? You got to you gotta drop things because you're going to have a better future. Let's say they're still mad at you. Your success is going to be the revenge for them. So when they when they see that you're doing good, they're going to hate on you more. So what? That's all them. Your mental health is still good. There's bad. The way you think of your physical health is the way you should think about your mental health. How everyone wants to look good and, you know, winter comes, everyone wants to work out and, and summer, get that summer body and all that shit. Do that for yourself. Do it for your mind. You know what I'm saying? It's not doing it just for your body. You got... You, Clean yourself out, you know, take a long time and, and do you and think about the times of, of pain and, um, you know, people that, that let you down, think about that shit. Because if you don't, you go through your days and, and you're mad at whatever reason, you're just, you're ruining your own day. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to a grudge, you're just going to ruin your own future. No one understands that. They think that, uh, you know, complaining about it. Oh, that's nothing. Complaining about it or, uh, just, dealing with it that somebody else did them wrong that it's going to work for them in the future because they'll be like okay well i'll find someone not like them well you're kind of ruining it for yourself you know what I'm saying like drop the grudge drop it you're not gonna get nowhere it's just gonna destroy you you're gonna get destroyed and and you know your life is just gonna be miserable if you let that if you let it be that way if you let your life be miserable and you don't think positive and and drop the negative shit you're always gonna be negative that's the way it is and social media, that don't help either. I did a video about social media. And I was like, my first video. That shit don't help either. It's just going to make you hate that person more. You'll never get over the fact of what they ever did to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you always have that hate. Social media brings that uh, a lot of people. Like, they'll throw in your face of how good they're doing. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's good that there's blocking. Because you can actually block them and not see them again. Or eliminate and put your phone down. Because you put your phone down, your life's gonna go better. And when you see them, you'll probably catch up with them because you haven't seen them and you'll you'll just ask about how they're doing in their life. You know, you guys won't have that connection like that, but you'll still be able to talk to one another. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys got over it. But you gotta work on yourself and drop the grudge, like I said, and uh your life is gonna go a lot more smoother. You know what I'm saying? The, these grudges mentally fuck you up inside. They, they mentally screw you up inside and you don't even see it. You don't see it, but it, it, it literally affects how you feel throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Even if you had a breakup with somebody and you hate their guts, you, you know what I'm saying? You hate their guts because they broke up with you. Okay. There's, there's probably reasons why I understand that everybody has reasons why, but you got to move on. You got to keep the day going. You got to keep the, you got to keep life going because if you just sit back in the past and, and you let this grudge rule your life and your attitude, you ain't gonna go nowhere. Simple as that. You know, it's sad, but a lot of people in this world hold a grudge, man. It's sad. And you'll never know the real reason why because it's not you and you shouldn't have to worry about it. But a lot of people that, that have anger and they're all miserable, let's say they're at work or you're at school, they're probably holding a grudge against somebody who's doing really good right now in life. And it's sad. You don't want to be like that. So... I wanted to make this video quick for y'all. Um, I hope everyone's having a blessed day. I love the support. I see it going up a little bit. And uh, like I said, we're all learning together, man. We're all learning together. So everyone had a, have a great day. Hope tomorrow's even a better day. And um, yeah, bro, I said.